It's likely that you've heard the quote, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. For many of us, this is a great quote for us to put on rewind and repeat when we think about interacting with our families. In this video, I'm going to talk about tips we can all use to manage stressors related to our families. My name is Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert in psychological health and safety in the workplace. Holidays, such as Christmas or Family Day, and special occasions, such as birthdays, weddings, and funerals, are all times when a spotlight is often put on all the dysfunction that exists in our families. We're often bombarded with images of happy, functional families all around us in the media, particularly when it comes to holidays and special occasions. And this often feels grossly mismatched to the reality for most of us. Family conflicts, lack of communication or expressed care, and explicit disrespect and conflict can impact us at our very core. After all, our families should, in an ideal world, love and care for us unconditionally. And when we experience the absence of that, it can threaten our very core sense of ourselves and our feelings of lovability and not being good enough. However, the primary tenant of CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, is that our perception is our reality. And by shifting our perceptions and expectations, we can turn down the volume on the intensity with which we allow our families to impact or hurt us. So what are some strategies we can all utilize to better manage our family dynamics? I have five tips for you to try. First, Put the serenity prayer on rewind and repeat, and take or replace the word God if that doesn't resonate for you. There's no doubt that we would all better manage emotionally if we could all approach all interactions with each of our family members with a serenity and acceptance of the things we cannot change, if we had the courage to change or communicate the things within our domain of control, and most importantly, if we had the wisdom to know the difference. Having a mantra that we repeat to ourselves and meditate on can provide us with a sense of calmness. Second, building on the serenity prayer, identify the things that are within your full domain of control and distinguish those from those which are not. We tend to put the vast majority of our efforts into things and people that we cannot control. Instead, make a commitment to put 90% of your energy into things and people within your control and only 10% into those which you cannot control. Third, trust your gut and intuition. It never fails us and it will guide us in the right direction. Sometimes our intuition screams loud and clear that despite any of our best efforts, there's no hope of substantive change or movement from our families. Listen to that, and then establish appropriate limits and boundaries if relevant. Fourth, accept your family as they are. Rather than seeing them as individuals within your family, see them as individuals, full stop. Individuals with their own host of challenges, stressors, personalities, and wishes and wants in their lives, independent of you. Fifth, Challenge your beliefs that your family's view of you reflects who you are. Often this is the hardest part. Our family rejects us, we think we're unlovable. Our family is aggressive toward us, we think we've done something wrong. Our family ignores us, we think we are unimportant. There is no veracity in these links whatsoever. Most importantly, remind yourself that our friends are our chosen family. Our friends, our nearest and dearest, our besties, our bays, our ride or dies, these are the people we have chosen to have in our life and are the ones that can teach us most about who we are authentically, without the discoloration our families can often add. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love to hear from you. How do you manage family stress? Tell us in the comments below. 
If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this.